Hello everyone, good morning, happy autumn equinox. Um, I hope that you're all well. It's a beautiful day here um, where I live in Hertfordshire in the UK and I hope you, I hope the weather is beautiful where you are. Um, I am Owen Jennings, I'm a channel of my spirit guides, spiritual coach and healer and I thought I would pop on here uh, this morning uh, to do a little connection with the energies of the autumn equinox which of course is today one of the days where light and dark are equal and where um, the sun is really trying very hard um, even if we don't always see it to give us an immense amount of light and I thought I would <laughs> great plans um, thought I would broadcast from my garden this morning because it's such a beautiful day and the energies I'm being um, going to connect to are the energies of the earth so I hope I don't even know if I've got the light right here and probably I don't know what's going to happen and Hopefully it'll be nice and it'll be quiet enough. Hi Kai. Hi Morn. Hi Annie. Hi Felicia. Hi Sharon. Hi Deborah. Lovely to see you. Up. Uh, lovely to have you here joining me live or watching the replay. You can still gain the benefits from tuning into this if you're watching the replay as well. Um, yeah, so a beautiful day. Um, Autumn reminds us, you know, when we look at the trees and the leaves changing colour and being released, that it's okay to let go of things, that there's always time, there's always a chance to start again and to build into your life what it is you want to build into your life. Morning, Inga, well, that's good. Um, so... I love this time of year um, because I love the changing colours on of the leaves on the trees and the falling of the leaves reminds me that it's okay to let go, that it's safe to do so. And the autumn equinox is also about, you know, looking back at what we planted, what we seeded a few months ago and to see, you know, what are we bringing in right now, what are we harvesting. And I know it's been... Um, a very different six months um, but I think for a lot of us we've adapted I think we've um, managed very well and a lot of us have found new ways of being new ways of working that we want to keep um, hold of really so I do think although it's been very difficult for some there's been a lot of blessings in this last six months as well and I hope you agree um good i'm pleased um that it's all looking good so far i've warned my husband not to run into the garden and suddenly ask, suddenly ask me if i want a cup of tea because he sometimes does stuff things like that not that a cup of tea wouldn't be welcome um i drew a card before i thought it'd be nice to draw a card um before i start um from the gaia oracle deck very appropriate it's one of my favourite decks as you probably know if you follow me. Um, I thought it was really lovely that this card um, came out today. It's the Tree of Life. You can see all sorts of different magical symbols there. The yin and yang um, here and then there's a star. There's the eternity symbol which is, um, is like it, which is like the figure eight and various other magical and sacred symbols there. The tree of life uh, reminding us about fertility, creativity, destiny and magical blessings and also reminding us that as long as we have our roots firmly planted in the ground and as long as we do our best to grow each day and as long as we do our best to stay, stay connected to our inner selves as well as each other then we can weather anything and the tree you know and 
and I love this card as well because the branches are, you know, to me they're reaching out into the cosmos and, you know, trees, they, um, they're always steady, aren't they, really, on the whole, um, no matter what life throws at them. But it's really important to be grounded. Um, the energies at the moment and have been all year have been intense and are still intense, but a lot of us are going through major upgrades, ascension process, all the rest of it. Um, so it's very, very important to stay grounded and to really connect in with your Earth Star Chakra and beyond that, the Earth's crystalline grid. And that's something I'm going to bring in for you all in a minute. So let's get started. Um, I'm going, this is going to be channeled. Um, and I'm just going to help you tune in to your heart, to whatever comes up, to the energies of the earth, to the energies of the sun, to the energies of the cosmos, um, so that you can open your hearts, release what you no longer need at this point in your life going forward, and so that you can set your intention, your intentions for what it is you want to create or bring in now or simply what your next steps might be um, for the next six months <laughs> okay so if you're going to do this make sure that you're not operating machinery or driving a car and that you're comfortable Welcome. Whilst we lead you on this meditation today, this connection with Mother Earth, with the sun, with the cosmos, with the trees, with everything around you, but mainly with your heart, your heart's desires, what you need to let go of, only you will know by looking into your heart. So taking some nice deep breaths in and out. Just allowing yourselves to relax where you are now, wherever you are, making sure you're safe and undisturbed and making sure that you're allowing this connection as we bring through divine source for you today, through the light that is available right now. So preferably with your feet on the ground, but if not, don't worry. Just imagining your feet on the ground. And imagining your connection with Mother Earth through your Earth Star Chakra, through your feet. Big, thick, strong roots coming up from the centre of Mother Earth and through the ground where you are, wrapping themselves gently around your feet and keeping you centred and grounded. And then Divine Source is stepping forward, Divine Source being a mixture of all guides, all creation, members of the cosmos, the stars, coming through as one beautiful beam of diamond light and this diamond light is coming in through your stellar gateway chakra through your other chakras your soul star your causal Crown, your third eye, your throat, your heart, all the way down to your stomach area, your solar plexus, your navel, your sacral, and your roots, the very root of who you are, all the way down to your earth star chakra, which is your own personal garden of Eden, where you plant the seeds of your own potential 
where you tenderly look after this earth star chakra connection and remove anything you no longer wish to have in your life and this light going all the way down to the crystalline grid in the center of mother earth this crystalline grid connects all aspects of the earth at a very deep level and it's always good for you to connect in with it and allow the roots from your earth star chakra to wrap around the crystalline grid making your presence known making your presence felt keeping you grounded at all times so this beautiful diamond light connecting you from above to below and vibrating throughout your entire body, your entire being, your energy centers, your physical body, your energy bodies. Connecting you with everything that there is. You know that you are part of this source energy. Right now you feel like you can achieve anything, that you can be anything. And we look now into your heart chakras. You may want to expand your chest slightly just to open up your heart chakra. And allow this beautiful diamond light to swirl around your heart chakras to cleanse and clear them to fill them with love, light and a feeling of abundance and just spend a moment releasing from your heart chakra what you no longer need Here is the seat of your soul. It's where a lot of you tune into your intuition, to your higher selves. What is it you no longer need? Is it restrictive beliefs, conditioning? Or is it just an attachment to something you know long, that's no longer any good for you? Just allowing it to go with love. And instead filling your heart with hope, with inspiration, with all the desires you wish to, wish to manifest. What is it you want to create? And know that you have the blessings of this day, today and always. That you always have this connection to Source. And to nature. It is who you are. And as this light around your heart forms into almost like another beam of light which is going to come away from your heart and all the way down to your earth star chakra so that you're grounding in what it is you wish to see what seeds you're going to plant even though it's autumn you can still be planting or is it that you just need to tend your earth star chakra and look at what it was you were trying to create that perhaps hasn't quite happened yet is it some is there something you can do now or is it a case of you can wait and just know that the abundance of your harvest will follow mother earth wishing you to know that you are held in ultimate love and the more you connect in with her on a daily basis the more she will reward you with her love and cons constant support.
she wants you to know that she's here. Her energies are changing daily right now as she changes frequency. So it's really important that you ground every day. You connect with her every day so that you can go on this journey together. Many of you here are already on the right path and we want to acknowledge that. Keep going. Keep looking within. Keep doing the work. Keep being your own beacon of light and the rest will follow. And the light just remaining with you now for the rest of the day and over the next few days. It's a good time to make plans, to review plans, or just simply to be and to appreciate where you are right now. So as Divine Source closes down all your chakras from your stellar gateway all the way down just take it all in take in the light your soul star closing your causal chakra closing your crown chakra closing your third eye closing your throat closing, your heart full of this expansive light but now closing just so you're not too open for the rest of the day and then your solar plexus closing, your navel, your crown, your crown, <laughs> your navel, your sacral, your root, your earth star chakra, your earth star chakra just taking in all of that light from source all of that light from you all of your intentions and the roots from mother earth leaving your feet now going back down knowing that your earth star chakra is connected to the crystalline grid of the earth That crystalline grid sending you some diamond energy right now into your feet to keep you grounded, but to keep to remind you how magical you are. And then when you're ready, when you're ready, start moving around, open your eyes, fill your heart with gratitude. Take it easy today, lots of water, and I really hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry for the um, noise of, I don't know if it was an aeroplane or a helicopter, <laughs> maybe it was the aliens, who knows, um, but I hope that you heard most of that. Uh, despite the noise, and if you didn't, then of course you can watch the re, re you know watch the replay, which will be on on my page shortly. So let me know how you are when you're back with me. I hope you're all okay. Oh, good. You're welcome, Annie. And uh, I. Oh, he didn't notice any noise, Deborah. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Oh, good. Thank God the bird song. Yeah, the bird song is beautiful. You're welcome, Kay. That's okay, Siobhan. Oh, it's lovely to see so many of you here. Thank you for joining me. As I say, you can do the replay again, or if you're watching this for the first time, it's equally... As it will be equally as powerful, just have, be, have an idea of what it is you want to release and then just take on the healing from that beautiful light. 
and I wish you well. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Bye.